Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I painted Lucky's portrait. So the first thing that I do is create the sketch of the pet that I'm going to paint. I use the camera Lucida app on my iPhone. Click on the app, click on the library button at the bottom. Scroll through your photos to find the picture that you want to draw. There's Lucky. You can adjust the transparency at the bottom and go ahead. I've got my phone secured above my paper and I'm ready to start. First thing I'm going to do is tape my paper down using this pro brand artist tape. It's going to secure my paper so that it doesn't get wavy as I apply water to the surface. All right, paper is taped down. I'm gonna go ahead and start my outline. I just use this basic mechanical pencil, nothing special. Um, when I do my outline, I do wanna make sure that I emphasize the highlights and the shadows. That's gonna help me when I start to apply my paint. And I will go ahead and speed this section up because it can be pretty boring. It takes about 10 minutes for me to do the sketch start to finish. All right, the outline is done. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and paint. Here's my picture of Lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and sit it right down next to me. For most of the painting, I'm gonna be using this Black Velvet number eight watercolor brush. There are a couple places where I'm gonna use a different brush and I'll point those out when I do. First color I'm gonna use is from the second well of my palette. That's a mix of quinacridone red and permanent rose. Basically mix that up and just put that on Lucky's tongue and ears. My camera stopped recording here for a couple minutes when I didn't notice. During that time, I added some tan to Lucky's ears, brown and purple to his nose and lips, and a little bit of pink and tan underneath his eyes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some cool and warm tones for the shadows and the highlights. The blue here is for the shadows between where his forehead meets his muzzle. And I'm going to put some purple in near his eyes. And then I'll probably add some pink down around his muzzle. I'm going to do all this before I start adding that tan color of his fur. And this is going to help with the layering and adding some depth. A lot of what I do relies on mixing the paint colors on the paper, sort of letting them bleed into each other. You can see that's happening here. I've got some blue and purple on his muzzle, and then I added some of the tan color that I'm gonna be using primarily for his fur. And I let that mix on the paper, and it, it creates a lot of shadow and adds a little bit more dimension. I'm doing a kind of fill now with the primary fur color. 
What I used for that is a yellow ochre mixed with some burnt sienna and I might have added a little bit of raw sienna and if I want to darken it up I'll put Van Dyke brown. If I want something lighter I'm going to add a little bit of Naples yellow. I let a lot of these mix on the paper like I mentioned before but for the most part right now I'm just doing a wash which is the first layer of his fur. A lot of it is going to be going over the blues and pinks that I put down before and some of the purple. All right, so now I'm adding a darker layer. This has a little bit of antique brown in it. And this is a little bit more where some of the shadows are in the picture. If you see the um, image of Lucky there, you can see that there are some darker tips on the fur, the fringe on the side of his face there and around his ears. So Lucky has this great little white patch on his chest and I'm never going to leave white fur on a dog completely white. So for instance here I've already got yellow, blue, where they're meeting we've got green, pink, and blue meet to create a little bit of purple there in the center and that's going to bleed in with the tan that I'm going to add on either side. And this is a great point in the painting because it's really starting to come together. I'm really starting to love the way it looks. I'm enjoying it. And I'm just sort of in my moment here. After I finish putting almost all the color on Lucky, I'm going to take over the background and I'm going to do a nice green wash for the background with a little bit of yellow at the top. Green seems like a pretty appropriate color for a dog named Lucky. And after I've done that, I'm going to let this dry completely. I'm going to leave it overnight, still taped down. You don't want to take the tape off prematurely because the paper could still warp as it's drying. Once it's completely dry, I will take the tape off and I will finish it with an ink outline and a couple highlights and then it will be done. I'm using Winsor & Newton number 12 brush. It's a much larger brush. It's going to be easier for the broader strokes and a little bit of fill. All right, Lucky's painting is totally dry. So we are gonna go ahead and 
carefully, remove this tape. Occasionally some of the paper will tear a little bit with the tape, but it's just the top layer and it's just a small amount, so it really doesn't compromise the painting. All right, I've got my reference photo here and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my outline. I'm gonna to try to be as detailed as possible without overdoing it. The outline is done. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of highlights. I'm going to use a Windsor and Newton brush size zero, and I'm going to be using white acrylic paint for these highlights. And that's it. Lucky's portrait is done. Thank you everybody for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about my process.